round 81. In this round, we're going to work with the same color as you used two rounds below, and we're adding new color that will be in inside of this heart shape that we're creating. So please join this new yarn, make this chain stitch, and make the first two stitches are dub uh, two double crochets into the same stitch, which is the front loop of this single crochet two rounds below. So let's do it. Two double crochet stitches into the same front loop of the single crochet. Then please take your yarn and this yarn tail, place them along the edge because you're going to make a single crochet while enclosing these two yarns. So single crochet into the back loop of the slanted double crochet and join the other yarn into this single crochet and work five front post double crochets right below into these five stitches right below two rounds below so one two three four and five front post double crochet stitches then get your yarns you're gonna work over them two single crochet stitches one and two and then five front post double crochets into the next five stitches one two three four and five now please join the other yarn into this last front post double crochet and work a single crochet into the back loop of the slanted double crochet and this will be the pattern for this round let us do it a couple of more times again together so first we're going to make two double crochet stitches into the front loop of the single crochet stitch two rounds below right between these two slanted double crochets then single crochet so we skip only one stitch which is the single crochet in the back okay and work a, a single crochet into the back loop of the slanted double crochet join the other yarn and work five front post double crochets one two three four and five then two single crochets bring this yarn to enclose it into these single crochet stitches one and two and then five more front post double crochets. Join this yarn into this last front post double crochet. Make sure it's not too tight in the back. And make a single crochet stitch. Two repeats are done. Okay, let us do it one more time together because it's a more complicated around so two double crochet stitches into the same stitch skip only one stitch in the back work a single crochet into the slanted double crochet join the other yarn five front post double crochets uh, three four and five then two single crochets Five front post double crochets four and five join the other yarn and make a single crochet stitch and three repeats are done now please pause this video finish this round and meet you again in round 82 round 82 will be worked with the same yarn that you use two rounds below it means this one and this one and we will start by joining this color that you use to make this v shape so join it make a chain stitch tighten this loop 
And at the start, three single crochets. Stitch, and also grab this yarn uh, and place it along the edge. You'll be enclosing it. You'll also be enclosing in your single crochet stitches all these yarns that hang behind. Okay, so we will start with a single crochet into the first double crochet, then into the second, then third, and then the next stitch is the front post double crochet, slanted one stitch to the right. So we're going to work into this double crochet right here. So front post double crochet, slanted one stitch to the right, and then three single crochet stitches, skip the corresponding stitch, three single crochets, one, two, and three. Now join the other yarn, work a single crochet into the next stitch, and now we're going to make a popcorn stitch that will be split into two stitches. It means two double crochets will be made into the first front post double crochet, and the other two double crochets will be made into the second front post double crochet stitch. So let us do it. Two double crochets into the first front post double crochet, two double crochets into the second front post double crochet. Now insert the hook into the first double crochet, grab this loop, pull it through, make a chain stitch, and we are going to skip two stitches in the back and work a single crochet into the next stitch, grabbing all this yarn behind and then joining the other yarn into this single crochet like this. And then make three single crochet stitches. One, two and three. I'm enclosing all the yarns. And then front post double crochet stitch, slanted one stitch to the left, so right into this double crochet here, and then make a single crochet into this first single crochet here, right here. So this will be the pattern for this round. Now let's do it again. Three single crochet stitches, one, two, and three. Then front post double crochet, slanted one stitch to the right, oops. Three single crochet stitches, one, two, and three, join the other yarn, single crochet stitch, another popcorn stitch, split into two stitches, two double crochets into the first front post double crochet, then two double crochets into the second front post double crochet. Close your popcorn stitch with a chain, make a single crochet stitch, join the other yarn, then three single crochet stitches, one, two, and three. Front post double crochet slanted one stitch to the left, and then single crochet stitch. This is our second repeat. Let's repeat it one more time. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. Front post double crochet slanted one stitch to the right. Skip the corresponding stitch. Three single crochets. Join the other yarn. Single crochet. Two double crochets into the next stitch, two double crochets into the next stitch, join your popcorn stitch with a slip stitch and a chain, make a single crochet, join the other yarn, three single crochets. Front post double crochet slanted one stitch to the left and a single crochet. So now please finish this round and I'll see you again in round 83. Round 83. Please join the same yarns that you used two rounds below. So we'll start with this, the one that is inside of the heart. Let us place this yarn 
to work on it while we make single crochet stitches but we will start with two front post double crochets into these two double crochet stitches so front post double crochet into the first double crochet front post double crochet into the second double crochet then a double crochet into the single crochet stitch right here and then single crochet into the back loop of the slanted double crochet and join the other yarn now make four front post double crochet stitches one two three and four here we're going to work two single crochet stitches one on one side of the popcorn stitch and the other one on the other side right to do this chain stitch so single crochet on the one side of the popcorn and on the other side like this then please make four front post double crochet stitches one two three and four sorry you need to join the other yarn into this last front post double crochet then work single crochet into the back loop of the slanted front post double crochet stitch and the last stitch in this repeat is a double crochet into the single crochet make sure you find it it's a little bit um, hidden under this uh, slanted double uh, front post double crochet stitch okay so this is the repeat for this round let us do it one uh, two more times okay so two front post double crochets one two then double crochet stitch then single crochet into the back loop of the slanted front post double crochet join the other yarn four front post double crochets one two three and four single crochet on one side of the popcorn stitch single crochet on the other side of the popcorn stitch then four front post double crochets one two three and four join the other yarn single crochet into the back loop of the slanted double crochet and a double crochet let us do it one more last time together two front post double crochets double crochet single crochet join the other yarn four front post double crochets so one two three and four two single crochets four front post double crochets join the other yarn single crochet and a double crochet and so three repeats are done now finish it and We'll meet again in round 84. round 85 so please join the same yarn that you used right here two rounds below the uh, inside of the heart shape and then you will also work with this yarn so we will start with three front post double crochet the first front post double crochet is worked into the first stitch two rounds below this, which is this one 
So one front pose double crochet, two front pose double crochet, three front pose double crochet, then a double crochet into the front loop of the single crochet, and then a single crochet into the back loop of this slanted double uh, front pose double crochet. But we're gonna work around this yarn and then join it like this. Okay. Now we are going to make three front pose double crochets, starting with this one. Front post, front post, front post. Then two double crochets into these stitches. If you prefer, you can work front post double crochets into these single crochets. I prefer to work simple double crochets. It's really up to you. Both ways are uh, pretty. And then two, uh, sorry, and then three front post double crochets like this. And join the other yarn into this last front post double crochet. Pull gently to make sure it's not too tight. Then work a single crochet with this new yarn into the back loop of this slanted double crochet. And then work a double crochet and then a front post double crochet stitch. Okay, so this will be the um, pattern for the one repeat in this round. And let us do it one more time. Three front post double crochets. One, two, three, double crochet, single crochet, don't bring, uh, don't forget to work over the other yarn and then join it into this last single crochet stitch. Then work three front post double crochets. One, two, oops, and three. Then two, uh, double crochets, one and two, then three front post double crochets, join the other yarn, pull it like this, and then single crochet, double crochet, and front post, double crochet. So we did uh, two repeats. Now please finish this round and we'll meet again very, very soon. Round 86 is worked with only one color, the same that you used two rounds below. So please join it and we will start with five single crochet stitches. So this round is almost the same as the one two rounds below. We just change the uh, placement of the slanted double crochet, front post double crochet stitches. So five single crochets, then front post double crochet, slanted one stitch to the right, skip the corresponding stitch, six single crochet stitches, grab the yarn behind, so three, four, five, and six. Front post double crochet, slanted one stitch to the left, and three single crochet stitches. One, two, and three. Okay, this is the repeat for this round. Let us do it one more time. It's an easy round. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Front pose, double crochet, slanted one stitch to the right. Six single crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Front post double crochet, slanted one stitch to the left, and three single crochet stitches. One, oops, two, and three. Okay, 
Two repeats are done. Now please finish this round and I'll meet you in round 87. It's worked with the same yarns as we used two rounds below. And we'll start with this, uh, with this one. And we will do a four front pose double crochets. One, two, three, and four front pose double crochets. Then a double crochet. Then a single crochet into the back loop of the slanted double crochet, front pose double crochet, and work with um, around this yarn and join it. Okay, then drop the previous yarn and continue with this newly added yarn. Six front pose double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Join the other yarn. And now single crochet into the back loop of the slanted front post double crochet, then a double crochet, and then two front post double crochets, one and two. And this is the pattern for one repeat in this round. Let us do it one more time. Four front post double crochets. One, two, three, and, and four. Double crochet, single crochet, Join the other yarn, six front post double crochets, four, five, and six. Join the other yarn single crochet, double crochet, and two front post double crochets. Okay, now please finish this round and I'll see you again in round 88. Round 88. Please join the same yarn that you used two rounds below. And we will start with a single crochet into the first stitch in the previous round. So single crochet into this first stitch into the back loop of it. Then chain stitch and then single crochet into the next stitch. So we don't skip any stitches after the chain. And in total, we're going to make five single crochets. So we did one. Now, um, Two, and please grab the yarns that are hanging in the back. Three, four, and five. Oops, five. Now front pose double crochet, slanted one stitch to the right. Then four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Then front post double crochet slanted one stitch to the left and four single crochet stitches. One, oops, don't forget to grab the yarn in the back. Two, three, and four. So this is the repeat for this round. Let us do it one more time. Single crochet, chain stitch, five single crochets. So five, then front post double crochet slanted one stitch to the right, 
four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Front post double crochet slanted one stitch to the left and four single crochet stitches. One, two, three, four. Okay, now please pause this video, finish this round, and we'll meet again in round 89. Round 89. In this round, we're going to work with two colors, with this color and this. And now please join this color yarn. Tighten this loop, make a chain stitch. And the first stitch in this round will be a single crochet made into the back loop of this chain stitch. Okay, so let's work this single crochet stitch into the back loop and join immediately the other yarn like this okay now drop this one and continue working four front post double crochets with the second yarn one two three Four, four front post, uh, uh, front post double crochets. Now a double crochet into this single crochet stitch right here. Then single crochet, so grab this yarn in the back, place it along this edge, work a single crochet and join this other yarn. And continue working four front post double crochets, so in these four stitches one two three and four join the other yarn now make a single crochet stitch then double crochet and four front post double crochets one two three and four and here please join the other yarn and this will be the repeat for this round let's continue one more time single crochet into the back loop of the chain stitch and join the other yarn right away okay so we make only one single stitch with this contrasting yarn here then four front post double crochets one two three and four then double crochet single crochet into the back loop of this slanted front post double crochet join the other yarn make four front post double crochets join join the other yarn make a single crochet double crochet and four front post double crochets one two three and four join the other yarn and the second repeat is done so now please finish this round and we'll meet again in round 90 and we'll be almost almost done one more part before we finish this mandala see you soon round 90 Please join the same yarn that you used two rounds below, which is this one. Let's tighten this loop. And the first stitch in this round will be a single crochet stitch into the back loop of the single crochet right here. So into this one. So single crochet, then double crochet, slanted one stitch to the right. So from the corresponding stitch, 
it will go right into the front loop of this chain stitch two rounds below okay so front uh, sorry double crochet slanted one stitch to the right then please skip the corresponding stitch and work four single crochet stitches don't forget to enclose the yarn in, uh, that is sitting in the back so one two three and four single crochet stitches then front post double crochet then four single crochets again enclose the yarn in the back one two three and four now front post double crochet four more single crochet stitches one two three and four and here we're going to work a double crochet slanted one stitch to the left so from the corresponding stitch one stitch to the left will be the front loop of this chain stitch so double crochet slanted one stitch to the left and this is the repeat for this round let us do it one more time single crochet into the back loop of the single crochet double crochet slanted one stitch to the right skip the corresponding stitch four single crochet stitches one two three and four front post double crochet four single crochet stitches One, two, three, and four. Oops. And then front post double crochet. Four more single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And a double crochet slanted one stitch to the left. So we've done this repeat two times. Now please finish this round and we'll meet again in the next part of the tutorial in the round 91.